If you go to products and you try to buy some plugins, guess what? You cannot buy them anymore. Waves has dropped the biggest news that I think they've ever dropped. They've gone from being able to purchase a perpetual license, one that you own forever, to have access to their plugins through a subscription. Oh. Now, hold on, hold on. I know people are probably not going to be super happy about this, but I want to walk you through what the idea is behind this new model and how it actually could benefit you and help you mix music faster and potentially even cheaper. Now, I'm going to cover all the top questions that I've seen that you need to know before you migrate over to the new Waves Creative Access. So if you're interested in plugins, but you don't want to pay for them, I have a gift for you. In the description is a link to download my favorite free mixing and mastering plugins guide. So if you need some new tools to inspire some creativity, go and grab that guide. I know you're gonna love it. If you go to the Waves website, this is what you see now. Waves Creative Access, all Waves plugins, all updates included, new plugins added regularly. So, what this means, in order to access any of these plugins, you have to have this subscription now. And if you notice, they have different levels of subscription. They have this ultimate, they have this essential. That's gonna have a different cost associated with that. Monthly, it's $14.99 per month for the essential version, which has 110 of their plugins. And if you want the ultimate, which is what I would suggest going for, if you're gonna do this, $25 a month. But if you pay annually, you get two months free. So let me talk about the good and the bad of this new system. The good thing is that you no longer are responsible for that Waves update plan. So the Waves update plan is basically the cost of a year of all of these plugins anyways. You're getting all of the plugins always up to date. Now, if you're like me and you've already bought a ton of Waves plugins, you're probably like, what the heck? Like, this is not cool. What Waves has done is they will allow you to continue to use your plugins in your sessions if you bought the perpetual license before this came out. However, if you upgrade your computer and it has some hardware that basically breaks these plugins, you're on the hook for getting the subscription because there is no longer a way to just update your perpetual licenses other than subscribing for the annual plan. So when you have the subscription, you're gonna get all the free plugin updates, and Waves says that they will be continuing to release new plugins in the future, and those will automatically be added to these different subscription plans. At least they're putting out new things and new tools that are gonna be exciting and fun to use to make music. Because everybody will have access to almost all of the Waves plugins, it now makes sense to have a central database where you can pull down plugin chains that just automatically load up in your session from your favorite producers and mixing engineers. If Waves was stuck on the perpetual license model, then it would never make sense to have this type of functionality because a lot of people would be missing random plugins which would make these chains worthless. Now, Waves just released Studioverse. Basically, it allows you to pull plugin chains from anywhere in the world, from the top producers, and from yours truly, and you can pull them right into your DAW in the Studio Rack plugin. Before, there really wasn't a good way to do this. So I think the net effect of Waves going to a subscription model is actually beneficial for everyone, but it's gonna be a bumpy ride in the beginning. Now let's address a lot of questions that I'm sure you have about this new subscription model for Waves. So is the Waves Creative Access now the only way to get Waves plugins? The answer, unfortunately, to that is yes. But fortunately, if you've already purchased Waves plugins, you can continue to use them in their current version indefinitely. So how do you install Waves Creative Access? Basically, you have to go to the website and sign up. And then once you sign up for that subscription, you'll have access to the download and you'll be able to install all the different plugins. Next question, can you try the Waves subscription service without paying for it? The answer to that is yes, Waves offers a seven day free trial. So you can go and sign up, try the essential bundles package, or you can go to the ultimate package, play around with that, see if you like it before you commit to a year. Now you only get to do this once, so make it worthwhile. You can also install the plugins as demo mode, which allows you to use them in your sessions, but what they're gonna do is drop out the audio occasionally, so you can't really use them to mix down a song ever. But it at least allows you to play with them to see if you like them, and to figure out if it's worth it to upgrade to that higher bundle. Can I cancel my subscription at any time? The answer is yes. The way it works is that when you cancel, you're gonna have your subscription continue until you hit the same date that you signed up, in the next month. 
So for example, if you signed up for Waves plugins on February 25th, and then March 13th, you decide you don't want it anymore, you cancel, you're gonna continue to have the subscription until March 25th. And it also terminates at 5 p.m. Eastern time, which is interesting choice that it's not midnight, but whatever. Does my subscription automatically renew every single year? The answer is if you signed up on Waves, it will. They're gonna charge you every single year or every month to automatically renew your subscription. So make sure you cancel it if you don't want that to keep digging your credit card. Here's a good question. What about if your computer's offline, right? A subscription model requires you to be logged in in order to use the plugins. So how does that work? So there's two ways to continue to use an offline computer. One is that when your license renews, so if connect your offline computer to the internet, pull down the new license, and then you can use it for the month. Now that sounds awful, especially if your computer's in a location that it's not easy to connect to the internet. So Waze gives us another option, and that is to take a USB drive, connect that to a computer that does have internet access, and then pull down your new renewed license on your USB drive. Then you can take that, plug it into your offline computer, and then sync up your licenses. Kind of a pain in the butt, but that's the best solution they have right now. Can I pause my subscription if, let's say, I'm going to school and I'm not really mixing a lot of music? The answer to that is sort of. What Wave suggests is that you actually cancel your subscription and then just renew it when you're ready to start mixing music again. If you still have the Waves update plan coverage for your plugins, you will continue to receive the updates that Waves puts out until that Waves update plan expires. If you have the Waves update plan and you're using the additional license that you get when you have the Waves update plan, as soon as that Waves update plan goes away, unfortunately, you'll only be able to use one perpetual license for those plugins that you've purchased. There is no longer a way to have two concurrent licenses. So I apologize in advance for anybody that hates these subscription services. It's a way that Waves can maintain their plugins and keep things up to date without making us pay for this Waves update plan all the time. It would appear that the majority of plugin manufacturers, especially these bigger companies, are all going to this subscription service plan. So it's something that maybe we need to get comfortable with or protest. If you have questions about Wave's new subscription model, drop them in the comments below. I'll do my best to come back and answer those as soon as I can. And if you want more information about Wave's Creative Access subscription plan, I have a link to that in the description as well. I wanna remind you that in the description is a guide to download all of my favorite free mixing and mastering plugins. Those do not require a subscription. So if this video irritated you, Guess what? You get some freebies in the description. Go check it out. With that, I want to thank you so much for your time and attention today. My name is Bobby Balo. I'm the mixing and mastering engineer at Rayton Productions, and I hope to see you in another video.